Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession just to give them a threat going forward. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adrien Rabio in the centre of the park. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And they kick off here. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Enzo Fernandez. Just cutting off the supply. Dembele. Lionel Messi's daredevil style of attacking could well make the difference here, Stuart. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Plenty of support here, and a body in the way. Over it comes. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, that is how to play advantage. That's useful play. But the danger averted for now. Enzo Fernandez. Now Giroud, Griezmann, and perhaps Griezmann, and keeping it out. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is.
It's a short one. For Meccano. Timely intervention. Teo Hernandez. Mbappe. Can he take the chance? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Number seven, Antoine Griezmann. Dembele. Now with Rabiot, and blocked for now. Well, possibilities in the centre. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. And teammates around him. Pumps clear. Giroud. Hernandez. And Giroud now at the controls. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Alvarez. Alexis McAllister. De Paul. How can he take them on and beat them? But really sticking to their task defensively. Rabio. Rabio. Hernandez. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Griezmann. Jules Koundé on the ball. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. An incisive pass. And it all counts for naught. Marcos Acuna. Enzo Fernandez. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Mbappe. Well, that's now he could be in hot water here, having already been booked. And he is going to pay the ultimate price. Well, when you're on a yellow card, it was a silly challenge. He just lost his discipline there. So making the substitution now. Man with it. Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. Quite simply, they just need to get on the ball more than they have been. 
Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Yes, man. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can he finish? He's made sure. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. This to put them in front. And a timely penalty save! in by Griezmann oh, a really good header but the goalkeeper there's a cover up growing pressure here and another corner Short corner taken. Mbappe into the middle. Well clattered away. Rafael Varane. Now Rabio. It's opening up for them. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Acuna and Messi carries it forward what's he going to do from this position a fine reading of the situation and the counter looks on here options available will they profit from this situation Griezmann poor pass under no real pressure Marcos Acuna and into the last 15 minutes of action. Good technique displayed. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Coman. Mbappe in the centre. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. They're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. To give them the lead here. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Goal! There's ten minutes remaining here. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. This could square the game. Oh, should have done so much better from there. And France have possession again. Rabio. Decisive pass from Mbappe. And still looking to get the shot off. Martinez. That needs an accurate cross. 
Well, still an issue here. Danger averted for now. That's useful play. Oh, that's a really good run. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Well, opting for the short corner and firing it to the near post. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. France, the world champions. It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them. The match is underway. And a body in the way.